Hello everyone, this is Belvigi, and in today's video we're gonna take a quick look at our subcategories extension for Magento 2, and also explain why it's worth having. Good navigation is one of the key factors for a successful and user-friendly web store. With the help of our subcategories extension, you can give a new and fresh look for the subcategories layout on your Magento web store. To configure the general settings of the plugin, Log in to your Magento admin panel and navigate to Stores, Configuration, Belvigi Extensions, and Find Subcategories module. Here you will see the general settings, which include the following submenus for configuration. To enable the module, choose Yes. If you select Hide Category Image, you will be able to upload and display custom pictures as category images on every category page. The same with Hide Category Description, which lets you enable a custom description text for each category page. By pressing Choose File, upload an image that will be used as a thumbnail for each subcategory item in the list. Select the type of the layout, how the child categories will be displayed on a category page and specify the following settings. Choose Yes in Show Title to show a separate title for the block with the list of subcategories. Specify the title name. While adjusting simple slider settings and action slider settings, choose the position of the subcategory name in the slider. Enable or disable slider indicators and specify the type of the slider's background. In Carousel slider settings, select Yes to show a separate title for the block with list of subcategories. Specify the title name, enable or disable slider indicators, specify perspective zoom scaling and the padding space between subcategory items in the slider. Set the number of subcategory items to be visible in the slider. Select the option you prefer in background type, upload custom images, pick up custom or random colors, or choose to display both images and colors. The module allows configuring child category listings in two main ways, either as CMS blocks or as widgets. To configure a specific subcategory settings as a CMS block, navigate to Catalog – Categories. On the left you'll find the list of categories available on your store. Select the category you'd like to edit and open the category menu. You can upload a custom image that will be displayed as a general category image or on the front end and also enter a custom category description text. To edit subcategory settings for the selected category, switch to the subcategory settings menu. In this section you can define the settings that will be applied to the selected category when it becomes a child category for some other directory. Subcategories can also be managed and configured through widget settings. Go to Content – Widgets. To edit, click Home Subcategories. Find the Layout Update section. Click Add Layout Update and specify the page where that new widget should be displayed, either on a specific page, on all pages of the store, specific category page or product page. Then specify the position of the widget on the page and the type of the layout. Switch to the widget options where you will be able to change a few subcategory settings, such as the subcategory title, number of subcategory items in the list, sorting order, the position of the text and the background color or image. Once you are done with the settings, click the Save button to apply the changes. Note that whether you have full page cache enabled, you need to flush Magento cache each time you change any module settings. For that navigate to System, Cache Management, Flush Magento Cache. The module allows changing not only the layout, but also define the background color for Slater and Carousel and use different custom images for each subcategory for the grid or simple list layouts. With that, thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed this video and if so, please subscribe and push the bell not to miss our videos when they come out.